Hey, what's up guys? Min City here back again with another video and today we are taking a second look at Pico Tanks. Now I made a first impressions type video way back in the day on Pico Tanks when it first released and now we're returning back to it to see if anything is different and if it's as good as the first time that we checked it out. So don't forget to leave a like and pop a sub and let's get right into it. The good stuff. Pico Tanks art style and sound design are still top notch super polished i think this is as good as it gets on the app store honestly it has a ton of personality now with its gameplay you still play as a tank and your tank has a ton of customization options including its weaponry or even stuff such as how fast it goes how armored it is and what abilities you equip there's abilities that can like toss out little first aid packs for your team or there's abilities that will activate a shield that uh completely like covers your tank and protects it for a certain amount of time stuff like that so that you can build your tank in any way you want and specialize it in any way you want which is really cool and it's really satisfying unlocking those things and experimenting with them in matches now pico tank still has a wide variety of game modes including events which is cool that's new at least from when last time i played it so there's events that you can earn free rewards during but with this the, uh, my favorite game mode is the flag or the capture the flag type game mode where there's one flag on the field and your team has to hold it as long as possible in a certain time frame in order to win. So you pick up the flag and you have to guard that teammate that uh, has the flag so you can position strategically and stuff and it's really intense. And another one of my favorites is this cargo type mode where there's this crate. And so you can attach a claw to the crate and only one tank can have a claw attached to the crate at one time. And you can drag that crate to your base. And if it is placed in your base for a certain amount of time, then you win a point. So whenever you're dragging the crate, you're not able to do anything else. So your other teammates have to protect you too. So I really like these objective gate based game modes and they're really fun, really intense and really satisfying to play. But every game mode has something on offer for everyone. So I think that's a huge strength of Pico Tanks. And the best way I could describe Pico Tanks, honestly, is that it's Brawl Stars with a tank theme and a lot more customization per tank, if that makes any sense. The bad stuff. Now, unfortunately, within these matches that you are playing, you do have emoticons and stuff that you can use to communicate with your teammates but there's not a lot of strategy involved unless you are partied up with two other friends in the same room or over discord you're not going to be having strategic gameplay with teammates and that's just the unfortunate thing of it now a another thing is the monetization model is pay to win uh, you can buy crates that will get you multiple copies of certain things that allow you to upgrade things faster and more efficiently and therefore be more powerful stat wise than the people you were encounter now there is matchmaking in place that will make it so that they're not too overpowered with you but it's just important to keep that in mind all in all pico tanks really stacks up with the best multiplayer games on the app store when it comes to polish and just plain fun if you've enjoyed games like brawl stars before in the past but you kind of got burnt out on that but you want something with a little bit different of flavor pico tanks is a solid option and one of the best in my opinion that i've ever tried so if you're looking for a 3v3 game to hop on with buddies or just to hop on casually with randoms this is your game all right, guys, those were my second impressions of Pico Tanks. Don't forget to leave a like and pop a sub if you guys are new or you enjoy mobile gaming content or if this video helped you out in any way. I appreciate you guys watching to the end of the video. It really helps out my videos in the algorithm. So a special thank you to those of you who are still watching this video. I love you guys. I hope you guys are staying safe and take it easy.